apologizing. In these microlearning videos, we've talked about many strategies for becoming a better communicator. However, even the best communicators make mistakes every once in a while. Communication mistakes can happen for lots of reasons, such as the setting, emotions, and cultural differences. But no matter what led to the mistake, good communicators realize the importance of apologizing. It shows that you feel bad about the way you acted, and that you see how your actions hurt someone else. Apologizing is the best way to move forward from mistakes. It can help preserve your relationships and make everyone involved feel a bit better. Let's go over the main elements of a good apology. We'll also talk about the benefits of apologizing, as well as what might happen if you don't apologize. Showing remorse. Remorse is usually what people think of first when they think about apologizing. It means saying sorry for the thing they did. It's important to be sincere when you show remorse in your apology, or your apology might not be accepted. Saying sorry when you don't really mean it might make the other person feel even worse. Taking responsibility. When you apologize, you need to show empathy for the other person, even if the situation was also hard for you. Taking responsibility shows that you understand how your actions impacted the other person. If you don't take responsibility for your actions, it might sound like you're making excuses for yourself and shifting blame to the other person. That will weaken your apology. Making things right. To wrap up the apology, you can commit to an action to make things right. This might be as simple as promising it won't happen again. Depending on the situation, there might be more you can do. For example, if you were gossiping about someone with your coworkers and said something that wasn't true, you might commit to talking to your coworkers and correcting the mistake. Derek works as a mechanic and is having a busy day at the auto shop. His coworker Lucy asks, Hey Derek, do you mind handling this detailing for me? I want to go out for an early lunch. Derek yells, Are you kidding me? We're three hours behind, Lucy. Get back to work. Later, Derek apologizes. He says, Lucy, I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. I'm ashamed that I acted that way, and I'm sorry for embarrassing you in front of our coworkers. If you want to take an early lunch any time this week, I'll cover for you. And I'll be sure to manage my workload better in the future. Derek showed remorse, took responsibility, and made things right. Because of the situation, he realized that he needs to manage his workload better. Derek and Lucy can also continue to have a good relationship with each other because they can both see that respect is still there. And even though Lucy was hurt by Derek's yelling, she won't blame herself for the incident because Derek took responsibility. If Derek didn't apologize, their working relationship might not recover. This could cause future problems between the two of them in the workplace and could even impact Derek's career and reputation outside of the auto shop. By not apologizing, Derek would show his boss that he doesn't take responsibility for his actions, and that reputation would follow him to other jobs. Apologizing is extremely important when you make a mistake. It's the main way forward to repairing your relationships. Not apologizing can severely impact your reputation and relationships. Remember, a good apology includes showing remorse, taking responsibility, and making things right. If you make sure to apologize sincerely when you do something wrong, you'll be well on your way to becoming a good communicator.